This video will cover the prosection of the pig lungs and I will be using the airway approach that we talked about in lecture to do so. The first thing you should do after orienting yourself to the right versus the left lung with a total pneumonectomy is weigh the specimen. The next step is to measure the specimen in three dimensions. After you do that, you can ink your hyalur structures. And remember, you can ink your hyalur structures the same color because they look different under the microscope. The next thing you'll want to do is palpate for a lesion. Now your pig lesions will not have, a, or your pig specimens will not have a lesion. So you can pick an area and ink it. After you have allowed your ink to dry and apply a little mordant, what you will want to do is go ahead and find two probes and place them in the airway. I suggest doing the airway approach on your left lung because it is less lobulated than the right. So you'll notice that the secondary bronchi dives down pretty quick and goes up pretty, pretty quickly here. Actually, all right. So go ahead and place your probes in the airway. Now the next thing you are going to do is Take your long blade and place it between the two blades and you can, or uh, between the two probes, and you can use the probes themselves to help guide this cut. So definitely make sure you're being very aware of where your hands are, and you can start cutting along the probe. Once you get a little bit of tissue cut, you can take your probe out. Now you want to look and cut. So make your first couple cuts. Make sure you're still in the airway, which I am here. And then you may notice that you start getting into your um, tertiary bronchi. So you can either readjust your probes at this point or just continue to visualize. I'm using my forceps and aiming. Now my probe's kind of getting in the way here, so I'm gonna move it and I'm aiming between the two probes. Now eventually you're going to get to a point where you can't um, continue your cut along the airway, right? Because they branch further and further. but we always strive to do the best we can. So can continue adjusting here. So then from here, what you can do is make another airway cut if you'd like um, to the superior part of the specimen. And this is the left lobe. I have it on my left side here. And what you can do now is serially section the remaining cuts. So now this would be the very similar approach to what you would do if um, this specimen was intact and you were doing your 
um, superior to inferior serial sections that we talked about. So that's the other option and you will do the serial sections on your right lung. So then you will further section each of these and I'm just going to do a few cursory cuts here just to demonstrate the basic principles. Um, in this case, because it's a little odd, I will actually start on the I will start on the superior end because that um, is kind of the way we talked about it in class. But also because these pieces are a little odd, and that always tends to trip students up a little bit. Like, how do I handle these odd? lobes well you just have to maintain your orientation and continual serial sectioning remember with larger specimens you can always move the specimen so that it's um, at a position that is perpendicular to your body and easy for you to cut so i'm going to continue serial sectioning okay and then how do we handle this odd kind of lobe section. You could serially section it this way, um, or you could do it this way as well. The nice thing about lung is while orienting the specimen and maintaining your slices is important, um, there's no anatomic structures here that I need to specifically be worried about. So now I'm demonstrating that. And then this would just continue on all the way through. Okay. All right, so then you would continue serially sectioning here, and then I would also serially section this half as well. Make sure that you um, also shave your margins and take your representative sections. You'll have tumor to closest airway, tumor to pleura, and tumor to uninvolved. Make sure you have representative sections of each of your lobes. One to two sections will suffice. And I hope you enjoy this lab.